Hey everybody, welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you what that string args is in the main method in Java, what that means and how to use it. But first, if you're new here, my name is Alex. On this channel, I post a Java tutorial just like this one every single week. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing. So let's start by going to file new Java project together. We'll call it something like my project. Hit finish. And then in the source folder, right click and go to new class. We'll call it something like main, hit this public static void main checkbox and then hit finish. You'll see we get this little code here that generated our main method. Now the main method is really special. Whenever we click the green run button, we run code inside the main method in between these curly braces. So if we printed out something like hi, save and run, It'll run that print commands to print the word hi with an exclamation mark in the console window. So whenever we run a Java file, we run code starting in the main method. The main method has our string args here, which we'll get to in a second. This is the setup for any method in Java. You got some keywords, you name it, and then you have parentheses with stuff inside or without stuff inside. This one has string, square brackets, and args in here. And for the longest time, I had no idea what this was, but it's actually very, very simple. This is a variable that we can use when we run the main method. So if we print out, say, if we print out args, we get no errors. If this was like some other variable name, for example, like a, it wouldn't work because it's like, what's the variable a? We would have to do something like creating a variable called a and setting it to something. But this args, is already a variable that we can use. So how do we use it? Well, if we save and run this, it'll print out this like gibberish. And I believe this has to do with the memory allocation of an array, which makes sense. Okay, if we look at this, the variable args is of type string array. This is a string array. An example of a string array would be like this. We could call it something like x for Example, give it some values like this. Hey, cool array. And then if we want to print those values of the array, we can do the first index, which is index 0, 1, and 2. If we save and run this, then we get those values in that string array. Args works exactly the same way. Except when we do that, say we wanna print out args of zero, what will happen? We get an exception, which means an error. We see the message is exception in thread main, java.lang.array index out of bounds exception, index zero out of bounds for length zero. So this is saying that args is zero length. There are no elements in this string array. Now to get elements, in this string array, we pass them in while we execute our code. So remember how we clicked the green run button? It runs the main method without any values in the strings array, but I'll show you how to put our own values into it when we run it. To do that in Eclipse, this will be very similar with IntelliJ or other IDEs, but click the arrow by the green run button and then click run configurations, then click this arguments tab and here, is where we can put the values of that string array. So this is helpful if we run, run like certain um, executions of the program based on what we enter. So say we wanna run the program with code 52, which runs it slightly differently than code three. We'll put some values like vanilla and chocolate. So these are just separated by a single space. We'll name this configuration if we want to, like um, call maybe ice cream run config hit apply and now we see that we have ice cream run config it'll run the main method with these two values which will be stored in the string array args variable so now if we close and we run with the ice cream run config run then we get the first value when we do args of index zero it gets the first value vanilla which is pretty cool so if we do this with the second value, one, then we'll print out vanilla and chocolate. 
I'll show you how to run this through the command line as well in a second, but this is cool because we can say like, if args of zero dot equals ignore case, we'll do that in case there's like a capital letter or something. If it's the text vanilla, then we can run some code that's like slightly differently. So for this example, we'll just print out running program with code vanilla. Otherwise, else if args of zero is, if it's chocolate, then we'll run the program with code chocolate. Okay, this is just like a super simple example, but it shows the point of like why we have this in the first place. Um, there should be an extra parenthesis here, save and run. We see that since the first value is v equal to vanilla, then we run the code with program vanilla. This is cool, but what if we run it without, without any values, just like before? If we apply and run it, then we get an exception because it's of length zero again. So if you want it to be run fine without or with the args, we can do a simple check that if the length of that array, if args.length is greater than zero, then we can run this code. Save and run. And now since args.length is zero, because in our run configurations, we removed them, it doesn't do anything. For example, save and run. And there you go. So now I'll show you how to do this through command line. To do this on command line, right click on your project and go to properties. This will show you the location of where this file is on your computer. So go to this location in your file explorer like this, and then go to source main. This is our class. Now right click on this empty space here and click open in terminal. There are two steps to run a Java program in terminal. The first step is to compile it. So to do that type this, and then the name of your class, so mine is main.java. Now we can type java main. That'll run the code inside the main method of this class. As we can see, no code running in normal mode. But to pass values to that strings array, the string args parameter in the main method, you do it really simply by just doing a space and then the stuff you want to do. So vanilla chocolate like that, for example. Ours is only checking for one, so we can just do an array of length one with one string called vanilla, run, and then it runs the program with code vanilla. The reason it's showing this no code is because we're running it either way. So we can do else if the, um, if the length is equal to zero or less than zero, then it'll run in normal mode. Let's compile it again. Let's run it again. And it's working as expected. Let's do chocolate. Boom. And now let's put some gibberish like pistachio. And it doesn't do anything because pistachio is not valid. But if we had nothing here, then it would run in normal mode. So I hope this helped you understand what this is again. It looks confusing, but it's really not. It's just a string array that's called args, which is short for arguments that you can use to run your main method slightly differently. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.